The Beaches Health and Wellness Program started in 2014 really as a pilot. We were looking at how we could bring together a variety of organizations that serve people who are underserved to see if we actually could reduce the amount of emergency room visits and hospital utilization by patients who were at Baptist Beaches Hospital. This All right. is gonna help me a lot. Okay. I appreciate Good. that. I know. Oh. Don't forget to take this tonight. I won't, man. All right. Bye. God bless you. I know. You've always been a sweetheart for me. Oh, uh, you've always been a sweetheart too, Frank. What's at the core of the Beaches Health and Wellness Program is our RN case manager, Tina Crooks, who is a nurse, been in nursing for a number of years, very experienced, very compassionate. What she does is she brings the program together by being the navigator, the caregiver, the nurse, and she helps patients get from the hospital to the clinic where she sees them again, to walking people over to Beam to get food. She really is the key to the coordination of care that helps individuals get better. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna have your medicine. I pray for you. Don't make me cry too. I ugly cry. I get red blotches all over my face. You know, once I get down here, I'm not gonna be able to get back up. Okay. She's spending months with people, helping people really regain their sense of self. I had a foot wound that seemed like a blister. And I thought nothing of it, you know, you pop a blister and that's it, you go, but it was kind of big. Next day I still tried to go to work, but I couldn't work anymore. My foot was just hurting so much. And I, that's when I went into Baptist. The doctor said that if I didn't, if I wasted one more day, I possibly could have lost my foot. I didn't have insurance. And they referred it to We Care since they specialize in that. And that's where I met Tina. They actually provided all the medicine for me. I would come in once a week and they would check my wound, make sure it was healing properly. The, what was most important to me, in all honesty, was that they actually cared about you as a person. They go above, above head and shoulders to help you out in any way they can. Now I'm up every day. I, just like I said, I have a different outlook on life. I want to go out. I want to conquer the world. I want to be able to do things. And they provided that self-confidence in me. That's the impact that makes all the difference. But this really digging in with someone for the long term is what seems Enjoy to the make gym. the big difference. I'll see you when you come back. Call me if you need anything. It really does take more than one organization to really meet the needs of somebody who's been sick in the hospital, who then needs a medical home, but also really needs the social service agency to provide food and food stamps, housing support. And I had a staph infection on my hand. I was taking antibiotics and everything. And that night I come home, I didn't feel good. So they had to bring me to the emergency room. Back when I was 55, 56, insurance got so high I couldn't afford it no more. How many sugars been running? Pretty good. You're normally the provider. You out making a living for your wife and your kids and so forth. I've done foster care for years and we adopted four children. So here we are sitting here, can't work, ain't making no money to talk about it all and trying to figure out what we're gonna do. And that's where we care come in with Tina, help me in different ways of getting what we needed. So that's really, really good. I'm happy. Well, a lot of ways to help me. Number one, didn't have insurance. Number two, didn't know my way to any doctors. And also, out of work, you ain't got no food, you ain't got no money. How are the kids? Everybody's good. If daddy's good, everybody's good. Yeah. And without Tina, I don't know where we'd be at now because she's the one that channeled the way to get us covered, get us medicine, get us doctors to see us. Hair's grown back. Yeah. Tommy's no, back. back. We are very excited about the success that we've had at the Beaches Health and Wellness Program. Now we're very excited to be moving the learnings that we've had over the past two years of the program. We're expanding to downtown Jacksonville. We will have uh, some, some of the same partners and we'll have new partners, social service agencies and homeless shelters that we'll be working with. And we're excited to receive funding to be able to do that. Bye baby. I love you. I love you too.